This minyan means a lot to me. From the first moment I met the rabbi, I had a special connection. Just being close to him ignites a flame inside of you. Being part of this minyan has been a tremendous addition to my life. It's very, very warm, and everyone has a very good attitude to learn and to grow together. The truth is what Midrash Siyon has accomplished in the last few years is incredible. It's essentially a large group coming together and not just coming and leaving, coming and building a relationship as one. It's something I've never experienced before in my life. Sharetzion, as everybody knows, is the main shul of the community. And I grew up in the shul. I was one of the kids, you know, running in the lobby and playing around. And it was more of a shul. The rabbi gave a class, a speech, and that was the entire function of the shul. Today, you come into Sharetzion from early morning to late at night. It is packed. Every inch is being utilized to the maximum. It's a revolution of Torah and our community. This minyan developed out of thin air. There were people from all different areas that came together as a group. The beginnings with Rabbi Joey Miz and how he brought everybody together was a very special beginning. And through the years, the camaraderie, the growth, we saw a tremendous togetherness and unity. And we saw that there was a real thirst for more people to be part of learning. My favorite part of the program is the Saturday morning breakfast with uh, class. The content is just so on point, so applicable, that we can actually take home with us. Shabbat morning to me is really something special. It feels like a vacation from life just to be in this room with people that I care about. I love coming here Shabbat morning and just seeing how happy everyone is, everybody together. It's just an energizer for the rest of the week. Sunday morning class, the rabbi usually prepares a thorough topic where we go into detail and the way the rabbi prepares that class is very intriguing and very informing. Starting my day off with Torah is basically what I look forward to in the Minyan the most. We went to Israel as a Minyan this year. It only made the Minyan and the boys have a greater intensity in their relationships with one another, with the ability to come for an extra class, come an extra night a week, be part of more. I feel like the Israel was a turning point for our Minyan. So when we came back, I was 100% into it, like wanting to add more and more and more as much as I can. The Ahdut in this Minyan is tremendous. Every year the Purim party is so special, it's uplifting. Also on Sukkot, we sing, we dance, we have a great time. The events and the different programs that we've had throughout the years, this builds the character of the Minyan. It built who we are, who we became. And I feel very honored to be part and parcel of this great Kehillah. Baruch Hashem, now I'm learning every day with the rabbi for the past two years. I feel like it made me more, like I have a bigger purpose. I can't start my day off if I'm not learning with the rabbi in the morning. I never had this drive before. I was always pushing myself to start learning, but now it's an enjoyment that I didn't have ever in my life. There's something that can't be described in terms of waking up every morning and being excited to come learn Gemara every morning. It just starts off your day on such a high note that you can't be knocked off your pedestal. Anything else that comes your way, you're just not affected. There's nothing that compares to it. It's just, you know, guys that they want to be putting time into themselves and into each other and into the Torah. The people that we have in this minyan, as well as the rabbi, creates an excellent and amazing aura and it really trickles into all areas of my life. There's probably nobody that comes to learn that did it for a few days and then just said, nah, this is not for me. Whoever came, they stayed. They kept coming. Every single thing I'm doing in my life is different because I'm learning. Everything. People who don't go to classes, you're trying to tell them how much better they can get. They don't know until they actually come and being here with us. There's days that once in a while, if I'm missing class in the morning, my days are just not the same. I feel like it made me more complete. Before I came to Sharet Zion, a lot of rabbis in the community were giving me like advice and chizuk and guidance. And you know, in the beginning, it's gonna be very slow. It could take five years to get people to come to learn what I expected to have. You know, a few people interested in learning and maybe over the years develops a relationship and way beyond my wildest imagination. The first morning I started in this room, there was maybe 20 people. Throughout, there wasn't just the first day, but the entire year we, we continued with Shi'urim. And then the next year, this year, it doubled. 
and from morning to night to weekends, it's just been amazing, something I didn't expect at all. Baruch Hashem, it's been two years now that Rabbi Saror is with us, and the exponential growth that we've seen since that, all building on the foundation that Rabbi Miz started, is tremendous. The rabbi has tremendous humility, a lot of patience, and a very uncanny ability to make his students feel very comfortable. Every single second with the rabbi is a learning experience on how you can become a better person. Rabbi Saror is my hero. He's somebody that came into my life and flipped everything I knew upside down. Every piece of advice he ever gave me tenfold came back to me when I listened to what he had to say. If I were to describe Rabbi Saror in one word, it would be authentic. The rabbi is so true to his work and genuinely cares about us. He has such a big heart that he's able to really commit to every single person in the minyan. A few months ago, I had asked the rabbi a halachic question. The most interesting thing was that after I spoke to the rabbi a few times, every day that week, the rabbi would come to me and ask me, so Shlomo, any updates? That's just incredible. That's something that you don't you don't see. Rabbi Saror is the engine behind why Midrashion has been explosive over the last year. I'm confident that this is only the beginning. I just want to give a special thank you and a hakarata tov to my wife and my children for allowing me to learn and to be in shul so often. I know I'm in shul a lot, and I must say that I appreciate greatly all the self-sacrifice of my wonderful wife. I would like to thank my wife for constantly pushing me out of bed every morning and uh, making sure that I come to class. Rushing out of the house every weeknight and Saturday afternoons requires a family commitment. I believe that I owe everything to my wife. She is the number one supportive person in my life. She pushes me to grow. My wife for sure deserves all the thanks. You know, I'm learning at 7 a.m. I'm learning at 8 p.m. Those are probably the hardest hours in my house with the kids, and she's the one pushing me to go. I want to thank my wife uh, for pushing me to come to class. I would like to thank my, my wife and my kids for supporting me and being there for me. Special thank you to my wife and my kids. Uh, my wife for always pushing me for always supporting me. It's just amazing that um, she's so involved in my growth and helping me with my growth. I personally owe a tremendous amount of gratitude to Ezra. 15 years ago, I wasn't learning at all. And really, I think the, Ezra's the one that got me to start learning every day. I want to thank uh, Danny Ben Horan, who is definitely the hardest working man in this minyan. I really want to give a special thank you to all of the boys of the Minyan, because they are what the Minyan is all about. The growth in the love of Torah, the love of Chachamim, and the achdut that our community stands for, to just grow stronger and stronger. And Bezat Hashem, when we live our lives this way, we will reach Mashiach Bimarabi Amen.